What's up guys? Hey, Jared Beckstrand here, doctor of physical therapy, toneandtitan.com. Do you have pain in your neck that sometimes sends symptoms down into your arms? Could be indicative of a pinched nerve. So today I wanted to talk to you all about this condition, what it is, why you get it, and then share some of my favorite exercises to hopefully help you guys out of some of that pain and out of some of that discomfort. Let's get into it right now. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today here on Tone and Titan. I hope to be able to share something with you that's going to help you out of some of the pain or discomfort that you might be experiencing. Of course, if these things I do share help you out, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button down below. Okay, so let's talk about pinched nerves and let's talk about radiating pain. It's a common problem. A lot of us experience it. Not a lot of us know why we have it. And so those are the things that I hope to share with you today. And so let's, uh, let's jump right into it. So pull out my spine model. And so we're looking specifically at the neck. So this is a profile view. He's looking that way right now. And you can see, if I jump in here really close, you can see that each of our vertebrae, well, our neck is made up a series of vertebrae that are stacked one right on top of the other. Now, at each one of those levels, you get these yellow things that exit out right here. Those are your nerves, and they go down, and specifically the ones in the neck are going to go down and innervate your arm. And so they're responsible for all the sensation and all the muscle activity in your arm. All those nerves come from our brain, exit out our neck, and then travel down into our arms. Now, what can happen is those nerves can become irritated. Some of the more common conditions that I see are going to be degeneration in your discs, meaning that those discs aren't as tall as they used to be, or you can also get a disc bulge, meaning that a, some of that disc material is actually kind of bulging out into a space that it doesn't normally occupy. When that nerve is irritated up at that neck level, what it can do is it can actually send symptoms down into your arm, be it numbness, tingling, pain, or even all of the above. And so those are the things that we want to try to get rid of. Now, that being said, it's crucial that I mention to you one very important principle, that of centralization versus peripheralization. Anything that we do that causes those symptoms, say they're down into your hand, if you do a motion or an activity and all of a sudden it comes into your forearm, up into your elbow, up into your upper arm, even up into your shoulder, that is an, indi that is an indication that we're headed the right direction. We would refer to that as centralization. Basically, your symptoms are centralizing to that source of the pain up in your neck. Those are things that we want to promote. Those are things, that's, that's again an indication that we're doing the right thing, that your symptoms are headed the right direction. So centralization is a great thing. Now, that being said, if we do any activity that causes peripheralization, for example, if you're experiencing kind of that numbness, tingling, kind of radiating pain down into your shoulder, we do one of these exercises and all of a sudden pain is down into your elbow, into your arm, that's a sign that we're headed the wrong direction. That's a sign that maybe the exercises that I'm showing you aren't going to be your best option, that you need to possibly pursue some, some other means. Um, so peripheralization, anything that, we, anything that causes symptoms to go further away from your neck is a sign that we're headed in the wrong direction. Now, these symptoms from our neck, these radiating symptoms from our neck, are often ca caused by posture or position. And so we can get our spine into certain postures, into certain positions that kind of open those holes, that make them a little wider, create a little more space for the nerve. Those are the types of postures that we want to promote. And those are the things that I'm gonna show you in this video. So one thing I wanna mention real quick, because our posture is such a strong predictor of a lot of the neck pain and shoulder pain that you might be experiencing, I shot an entire video about how to correct this problem, sharing some of my favorite stretches and exercises to help you out of that posture. It certainly might help you with this condition as well. I'm gonna leave a link to that down below. It's also floating right up here in the screen. Make sure you check that out for more of these exercises in even greater detail. Okay, let's get into these exercises. All right, so our first exercise and the one that I probably recommend the most often to most of my cervical patients, most of my patients that have neck pain, are going to be chin tucks. But a lot of the problem that we see with, with the neck and with the pinched nerve and the arm pain comes from poor posture, meaning the, for, the shoulders are forward, the head is forward, and we get into this position. So we treat it by trying to reverse that. And so your chin tucks, the first thing you wanna do is sit up straight and tall, and then what I want you to do is focus on tucking your chin 
kind of straight back into your into your neck. Keep in mind, it's not a head nod. I don't want your gaze to be directed down. I don't want your chin to come down towards your chest. I want your chin to go straight back over your shoulders. And so in this position right here, I call it the double chin exercise, you guys. The uglier that double chin, the more double chins you can kind of create, the more rolls you can create under here, the better the exercise. That just tells me that we're headed the right direction. And so that's your first exercise. So I'd retract back into this chin tuck, hold that for about a five second count, and then come up out of it, and then retract back, hold that for about a five second count, and then come out of it again. And so about 10 to 20 repetitions, and then you're gonna do that at least twice a day, even like three, four times a day. Now, if the chair is uncomfortable for you, you can also do that, do the same exercises laying down. So you'll see, that I'm right here and I'm laying down on my back. And then again, my focus is just pulling that chin straight down into my throat. You'll see that I'm not lifting my head at all. I'm not coming in this direction. I'm just gonna tuck straight down into the table, hold for about a five second count, and then come right back up out of it. And so that's exercise number one, chin tuck. Um, next exercise, we're actually going to do a chin tuck but we're gonna take it to the next level. Now we're gonna do chin tucks with some extension. So we're seated right here. We're gonna tuck our chin backwards, perform that chin tuck exercise. And now what I wanna do is just extend backwards. You'll see that I didn't lose that chin tuck position. I don't want you in this position right here. I'm still gonna have that chin tuck and then I'm going to extend backwards as far as I can go and then come up out of it. If we get into this position and they extend way back and they say, wow, that really hurts, back off of that a little bit. So again, I want to go to the point where you start to feel pain, but I don't need to go any further than that. Hopefully what you find is with repetition, with consistency with this, you're able to go back further and further and it actually feels better and better as you do it. So your first rep, you might do this chin tuck and then you might only be able to extend to here and that's totally fine. That's where I want you to stay. But then over time, you should be able to tuck and then extend even a little bit further. And so again, my recommendations for this are about the same, about a three to five second hold, and then we're gonna do them 10 repetitions at a time. You even might even do kind of 20 to 30 of these and then perform that a couple times throughout your day. Some people do find it a little more comfortable. If you grab a towel, there's a couple ways that you can kind of do this with a towel. Keep that towel down low. I'm gonna hold it with my hands, chin tuck, and then extend backwards, that's a little easier to kind of take some of the pressure off of your back and some of the pressure off of your neck if you do that with a towel. Some people find that a little more comfortable. They're a little more tolerant towards that. A thing that I like to do is actually promote even more extension by getting the shoulder blades and the scapulae involved with this. So to do that, you're, gonna, you're right here with your towel. You tuck your chin backwards, and now as you extend over the back of the chair, you're actually gonna bring that towel up with you. So you'll see the relative angle on my towel doesn't change. I'm starting right here, and then as I extend backwards, I'm finishing right here. So right here, chin tuck backwards, extend up and over, hold for a three to five second count, and then come right back down out of it. That's exercise number three. Again, about 10 to 20 repetitions, a couple of times a day on that one. All right, so my next three exercises are geared to primarily towards these posture related issues. The first thing that I love for that are going to be what we call some scap pinches or some scapular pinches. Basically what you're going to do is sit up straight and tall, squeeze your shoulder blades together, hold for a three count and then relax. And so again, right here, we're straight and tall. We're gonna squeeze, hold two, three, and then relax right here. Um, what your focus, what I want your focus to be is not only retraction with your shoulder blades, not only squeezing them together, but I also want you to try to tuck them into your back pockets. I also want you to try to pull them down towards the floor. A lot of times when people do this, they'll go like this. Try to keep your upper traps, try to keep your neck relaxed. Again, the motion is kind of pulling down and back. And at the end of that set, you should actually feel like you're actually looser in your neck just because again, those shoulder blades are pulling down and back. It's actually stretching your neck. And so a set of about 10 to 20, and then repeat that three times. So about three sets of 10 is typically what I recommend with the scap pinches. 
that's another one that you can do a couple of times a day. Okay, next, let me show you on my foam roller. Foam roller, you guys, if you've followed my channel for any amount of time, you know that this is one of my absolute favorite pieces of therapy equipment. Um, if you don't have one, I'm gonna leave a link down below. Check out that link, you can pick one up on your own. And so, but what I'm gonna show you on this, this is a great tool to just kind of straighten your spine out. In fact, it's so great, I shot an entire video on the foam roller, six minutes to correct your posture. Link's down below, link's also floating around up here right now. But for the purposes of this video, what you're going to do is sit right up on that foam roller. Um, this one is a 36 inch length. I like the longer length because you can actually lay down like the whole length of my spine on this very comfortably. And then that's it, you guys. All you gotta do is lay right here and just let gravity kind of stretch the front of your chest, stretch the front of your shoulders. I even tell people, a lot of times in my physical therapy clinic, I'll have people do their chin tucks while they're on this. Maximize your time, bigger bang for your buck. And so you're laying down, you're nice and relaxed, everything's stretching out, and then I'm gonna perform my chin tuck, hold two, three, and then come up out of it, perform my chin tuck, hold two, three just like that. And again, what we're going for here is just stretching. We're trying to get out of this posture and we're trying to get up and back and into this posture. That's the goal with that foam roller. Okay, the last exercise that I wanna show you are going to be what we call wall angels. You're gonna come with your back to a wall. I want your hips against the wall. Your feet can come out from the wall about eight to 10 inches, but my hips are against the wall, my shoulder blades are against the wall, and the back of my head are against the wall. Now what I'm going to do with my knuckles, I'm gonna put them right up here against the wall and then hold my knuckles against the wall, keep those three points of contact in my spine, and then you're just gonna slide them up and over your head and then right back down. What you should feel is all those muscles between your shoulder blades going crazy. All those postural muscles are holding you in this nice posture as we maintain those points of contact. And then we just add some active motion to the arms. It's gonna really help to stabilize and support and keep everything together nice and tight right where we need it to be. And so typically what I'll do is I'll either just set a timer, I'll set like a two minute timer for someone to do this or count out about three sets of 10 this one we can only do, this one we only have to do once a day. It's a little bit more aggressive. Once a day, three sets of 10 on your wall angels. All right, you guys, there you have them. About six of my favorite exercises to help alleviate some of the pain in your neck, that pinched nerve symptoms and some of the numbness, tingling, pain, whatever symptoms you guys might have in your arm. And so I hope that helps you guys out. I hope that you benefited from this video. If you did find it beneficial, hit that thumbs up button down below to like this video. Also, if you have any questions or comments or wanna share your experience with this video, leave that in a comment down below. Thank you for those comments. If you haven't done so already, please take this chance to subscribe to Tone and Titan right here on YouTube. My goal is to share things with you guys that are going to make you the fittest, healthiest versions of yourselves. And so I hope you take the chance to subscribe to this channel. You can do that down below. You can also do it right here. This is that posture video that I told you guys about earlier. This is that foam roll video that I told you guys about earlier. This one is how to alleviate muscle knots in your neck and shoulders. That's another one that you guys might like. I'll see you next time right back here on Tone and Titan.